Today on Fashion Guide, let's talk about the fashion world economics. The beginner designers share their ideas on how to make clothes affordable and what to do when you can't open your own store. A Kazakh fashion guru, Sakin Jaksibayev, reflects on new realities of the fashion world. Watch the most interesting talks right now. A fashion designer's job is 50% creativity and 50% business. One may argue with the ratio, but fashion is still business, and brands have to factor this in when making plans for their future. Kazakh fashion designers who found themselves in a new economic reality are now to take decisions on how to make their products affordable and what development strategy is the most fitting one to achieve this goal. We talked to some of the young couturiers who already know the answer to this question. The first and most efficient solution is to join forces. Just recently, Night Fashion Showroom celebrated its first year of operation as a showroom. We combined several activities. First, it's promoting our platform as fashion designers' grounds to showcase their works. We have over 20 fashion designers, and most of them are Kazakh brands. 20 designers in one place is not the limit. Multi-brand stores grow in popularity in Kazakhstan, while mono-brand boutiques are losing their ground. To put it simply, beginner designers who can't afford to start their own boutiques would rather rent a suitable corner in a large showroom. On the one hand, there's a lot of competition. On the other, it's a colossal saving of funds. Now this is more vital than ever. First, I think it's a promo for me. Secondly, it's economically viable. Aida Nurekinova started her brand just last year. Yet she already has three collections under her belt. As a beginner businesswoman, opening a point of sales of her own was out of the question. Aida says that her showcasing a collection in a multi-brand store proved to be a good option for her and urges her colleagues to do the same. The Night Fashion Showroom staff provide consulting support, organize photo shoots, and actively promote their designers' brands on the internet. We believe promoting local designers is important. It's not enough to just sell and buy goods. One has to diversify this soulless process with something colorful, bold, and beautiful. We believe in giving a chance to young designers so that they can share their creations with the public. It's very important to us. Affordable pricing policy is a cornerstone of Kazakh fashion designers' business strategy right now. As her brand is making its first steps, Aida Nurekinova doesn't opt for costly exclusivity. Just the opposite. She made her clothing affordable to reach a broader public. We make a fair number of items per style. That is, I make at least 20 dresses in one style, so I get a discount. The more we make, the cheaper the dress, and that's why we can keep prices low. I want my collection to be affordable to any girl who wants to look stylish and beautiful. Aliona Drozhina strives to cut costs of her business to keep her prices of clothing affordable too. She makes most of the work herself with no contractor labor involved. I make my dresses mostly by myself. I have assistants, but still I make the bulk of the work myself. I'm the fashion designer by trade, so I know how to save money and keep my prices low. And now to fast fashion, that is, cheap and affordable clothes which are the result of catwalk designs moving into stores in the fastest possible way in order to respond to the latest trends. It's a global thing right now, and young designer Diana Abuova proves that it's relevant to Kazakhstan too. Making a number of fashionable models instead of a large collection is much more appropriate right now. I don't make large collections. I might have several dresses, and after a while, I would add two or three more. I have very good sales. My three years in the market do count, and I sell around 50 dresses a month. At the start of their careers, many young couturiers combine fashion design with an office job because it's not always easy to earn money by doing what you love. Still, they have no plans of quitting fashion. The new economic reality will only help to keep the fittest professionals in the market.
I can tell you that fashion reacted first, because fashion became a more commercial affair nowadays. Are global fashion and fashion in Kazakhstan going through a very special period of time right now? What direction will the fashion industry take? And what's new in the fashion world? That's what we discussed with one of the most successful fashion designers in Kazakhstan, Sakin Jaksibayev, who is sure that the world of fashion ends entering a new era. Here's an interview with him. You should have looked at fashion shows from the bygone era, say haute couture shows, where fashion designers presented unbelievable collections. Over 90% of them were handcrafted. Now fashion house owners want fashion to be much closer to the general public. That's why we witness all this reshuffling going on in European fashion houses. Their owners continue to claim allegiance to high fashion, but commercial matters are of equal importance to them. That is, fashion must be viable. That is, people can dream of haute couture dresses for $50,000, but still sport t-shirts at $15 a piece. How does your brand react to the recession? Мы тоже к этому uh, подходим, uh, и в силу этого мы создали осенью свой молодежный бренд Z15. We established Z15. It's a brand for young people. While our main clothing line, ZH Sakin Women, is for accomplished, successful women, Z15 is for the younger generation of fashion lovers, students, for those who can't afford expensive items. Z15 is our response to the economic downturn. We cut our advertising costs and some internal costs to make our items affordable. We want to sell well and we want people to wear them. Sakin believes that the new economic reality will do good for the fashion industry in general. Back then, there was a time when everyone wanted to become a lawyer in Kazakhstan. Now everyone's in fashion. Everyone's a fashion designer, a stylist. Everyone has their own clothing line or collection. I think we're in the same situation now. And thanks to the economic crisis, only those who deserve to work in the industry will stay. It's a market economy. It's the reality of our life. Sakin has got news, too. In December of 2015, he started a sewing shop with the most up-to-date equipment, where, by the way, young designers will have an opportunity to make their own clothes. This spring, he is celebrating the first year of his project ZH Sakin Selected. Now Sakin invests his time not just in developing fashion design, but in welcoming popular non-conventional brands to Kazakhstan. Under his showroom's roof, he wants to host a collection of interesting things, just like the ones they have in the world-famous concept stores. Мы сейчас ведем активно переговоры с одним брендом в Германии, который будет создаваться линия. Currently, we're in talks with a German brand, which is going to create an exclusive T-shirts line for us. Also, we're developing options of Cecilia Mac clutches that will be made exclusively for us. In Paris, we met a girl who makes used book handbags. You can buy her handbags in Colette, Harvey Nichols, and from us. Продаются Harvey Nichols, New Saxe, и они тоже у нас представлены. Sakin Jaksibayev has plans made for this year. We're getting our main ZH Sakin women collection ready. The Z15 collection will be shown at the Fashion Week in Almaty and Astana. We might go and have a show in the west of Kazakhstan. We were in Aktau recently, and we want to make something interesting there. Some spectacular event for CH Zakin women in Aktau. Also, Sakin has a word of advice for his younger colleagues. Now you have to react promptly. If anything's trendy in the world, you have to be in that trend. 
All fashion ideas in the world are now generated in the street. Street style, street fashion, street photographers, street bloggers, it's all because fashion now lives in the streets. You have to see it, create something unique that you can call your own, and that's when you'll make it big. Interesting, you can shoot a designer.